Writing a review paper has a lot of benefits. It can help us get published, gain more knowledge of the field before we start our research and also improve our academic writing skills. But how do we write a review paper? How do we choose a topic for it? What are the different sections are we supposed to include? And how long should our review paper be? Also, is there an AI tool that can help us write our review paper from start to end? Well, if you're looking for answers to these questions, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of WiseUp and on this channel, I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills. Essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your careers. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now let's first understand what exactly is a review paper. So a review paper is a summary of other research papers where you critique and analyze the work that has been done by other researchers in the field. For example, do you think the results published by them are good? Have you found any gaps in their research that they should address? Or is there a way how their research can be taken forward? This kind of analysis is what makes your review paper strong and helps you get published in good journals. So now that you've understood the meaning and significance of a review paper, the next thing is to choose a review paper topic. And here, you cannot simply choose any random topic. Just like how you're writing a research paper, you need to choose a topic that addresses a gap in the research. Similarly, when you're writing a review paper, you need to choose a topic that other researchers have not written a review paper on. And for this, you can use the help of this amazing AI tool, PaperPal. PaperPal is an AI writing assistant that can not only help you in writing your review paper, but offers a host of features that makes the process of literature review, plagiarism check and journal publication so much easier. On PaperPal, simply click on templates and go to the brainstorm option. Here, type your question, give me review paper topic ideas on super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. And within seconds, PaperPal will give you at least 8 to 10 topics on which you can write your review paper on. And because I belong to this research field and I've published multiple papers in this area, I can tell you that some of these topic ideas are absolutely brilliant and would have taken you at least a month of literature review to arrive at these yourself. However, one important thing to note here is that be as specific with your question as possible in order to get the best results. So now that you know how to choose a topic, let's learn how to write a review paper. So a review paper essentially consists of three important sections. The introduction, multiple body paragraphs and the conclusion. In the introduction section, we introduce our review paper topic and give a background of our study. After that, we establish why is our research topic significant and worth writing a paper on. And then we share what are we going to cover in our review paper and the organization of our review article as well. Now coming to body paragraphs. So what exactly are these body paragraphs? Basically, the topic on which we are writing a review paper on, we split that into different subtopics. And each of these subtopics forms a body paragraph. So every body paragraph is going to have a central theme to it. And in the paragraph, we are going to talk about what have other researchers done in the field and we are going to critically analyze their work. For example, if I were to write a review paper on the different materials that are used to make solar cells, then each of my body paragraphs would be about a different material. Here I can talk about the origin and background of that material, how have other researchers used this material in their research study? What are the different methodologies that they have followed? And what efficiencies have they achieved in making these solar cells? And finally comes the conclusion section. Here we are going to summarize the analysis and interpretation of our review. What are the key insights have we achieved from this paper? And we can also share some future direction in which the research can be taken forward. So in this way, you can write your entire review paper. Now, writing a review paper can be a tedious process. 
with so many papers to review and so much information to collate, it can take you somewhere between a few weeks to a few months to write a strong paper. But now with the help of an AI tool like PaperPal, you can literally cut down this time by half and write a paper which is academically stronger and more effective. What makes PaperPal better than other AI tools like ChatGPT is that it has been trained on millions of research papers. So the suggestions that it gives are more scientifically accurate. While you are writing, you can ask the tool to paraphrase content to avoid plagiarism, trim long sentences, make some of the statements more academic or go for a better vocabulary. All these things will improve the overall quality of your writing. Now, sometimes when we sit down to write a paper, we face a writer's block. So in this case also, PaperPal can be really helpful. All you need to do is give a prompt to the tool and PaperPal will generate a few sentences for you. Not only that, it can also help you write an entire paragraph, abstract or conclusion statement and this feature itself can be very useful when writing a paper. Also, when you're writing a review paper, a lot of the times you will feel like you need to cite more content than what you have referred to. So in such a case, you don't need to go on Google Scholar, search for the relevant papers, download them and then include the citation. All of this process can be easily done on PaperPal. Simply search for the papers based on the sentences you are writing and PaperPal will go through over 250 million research papers and suggest the best ones for you based on the context. Then all you need to do is choose the paper and click on cite and you will notice that a relevant citation will be included for you along with the references section at the bottom. This can be a real lifesaver when you are planning to write your review paper. There are so many more features of PaperPal that you can explore on your own. Now, most of these features are available for free, but if you want to make full use of the tool, then I'd recommend going for their premium plan. For this, I've put down the link in the description and the coupon code for you to access. Now, usually a lot of students ask me, what should be the length of my review paper? Well, the right answer is that it depends on the topic that you have chosen. But to give you an approximate understanding, the length of a review paper can be anywhere from 7 to 8 pages to sometimes 20 to 30 pages as well. So what I would recommend is that you read some review papers in your field. That will give you an understanding of the approximate length that usually people follow and then you can go for that accordingly. Similarly, another question that I get is how many papers should I cite in my review paper? So even for this, the answer is that it depends on the topic that you've chosen and how detailed of a review paper you're writing. But to give you an approximation, the number of papers you cite can be anywhere from 50 to 70 papers to on the higher side 200 to 300 papers as well. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this has given you some confidence on how to go about writing your review papers. Now, if you wish to learn this in detail, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. In this course, I teach you from scratch how to choose a research topic, how to write each and every section of a research paper, how to choose a journal, what are the different AI tools that you can use in this process and finally, how to get yourselves published. Towards the end, I also break down for you how to write a review paper and a research proposal, both of which are similar to research paper writing. So to know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And last but not the least, don't forget to check out the AI tool PaperPal if you want to write your review papers faster and more effectively. The link to it is in the description below for you. And now, Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.